I'm going to show you how to update the firmware in your Nexstar hand controller. There's two main reasons why people want to do this. One is they just want the latest fixes, which are usually quite minor. The other is that their Nexstar is acting weird, or not working at all. Even if you already have the latest version, you can often fix problems by reinstalling the latest firmware. The information on how to update your firmware can be found at nextstarsite.com. What I'm going to show you only applies to the hand controllers that have version 4 point something firmware. Celestron has since come out with a new hand controller called Nextstar Plus, which uses version 5 point something firmware. You can quickly tell which version you have by noting this button here on the Nextstar hand controller it says info. On the Nextstar Plus hand controller is a little Celestron icon. You can find out the exact version number by pressing menu and then scrolling down to utilities, press enter, and then scroll down to version and press enter. If your firmware is not four point something, then you'll need to go to nextstarsite.com to see about updating your firmware. Notice that we won't be updating the version four hand controller to have version five point something firmware. The version five firmware is only for the Nextstar Plus hand controller. To update the hand controller, you need to first install software onto your PC. That software is called Hand Control Firmware Updates, or HC Update. It has a version number of its own. It's version one point something right now. You'll get that from Celestron's website, install it onto your PC, connect your PC to the hand controller. When you run that software, it goes off to the internet somewhere, gets the latest version 4 firmware, and copies it into the hand controller. To connect your PC to the hand controller, you'll need a cable. Nextstar telescopes come with a cable that has a connector on one end which plugs into the base of your hand controller. On the other end of the cable is a connector which is meant to plug into the serial port of your PC. But today's PCs don't have serial ports, so you'll also need this serial to USB adapter cable. In the video description, you'll find links to where you can buy each of these cables. We start by going to Celestron.com and browsing to the product description page for any Nexstar telescope. We scroll down to this middle section here that has tabs across it, and we select the Support tab. On the right, there's this Download section. Further down is Software Subsection. There are several files to choose from. The Celestron Firmware Manager is for the Nexstar Plus hand controller, but this video is for the original hand control. So we're going to select Hand Control Firmware Updates. And select Save File. And I've created a folder called Downloads to put it in. It's a single zip file that we save. Once we do that, the file is now on our hard disk. We use Windows Explorer to browse to that file in the Downloads folder. You can use Window E to bring up Windows Explorer. Inside this zip file is a single exe file and how you unzip it may be different on your computer but on mine I just right click and select extract here and then I get the single exe file. Double clicking on that and it runs and we install the HC update software using all the default settings and it's installed. Once it's installed we have an icon on the desktop. Clicking on that brings up the little HC update program. Click Next. This has a feature where you can download the firmware before you hook up your computer to the telescope. I like to do that because I don't like the internet connection to have anything to do with my updating of the firmware. So choosing COM port, you select None, go to Next, download via the web, find the firmware version for your telescope, and download that. Later, you won't have to go to the internet to get this file. For now, we'll just exit the program. Here I've connected the Celestron Nexstar RS-232 PC interface cable to the USB to serial port adapter cable. 
Then we plug the other end of this cable into the base of the hand controller. And we're going to need to turn the power on while holding down the info and undo button simultaneously. So we do hold those two buttons down at the same time and turn the power on. When you do that, it says initializing dot dot dot. When you let go, it says transmit data dot dot dot. And we plug in the USB cable. And then we run the HC update software. With the hand controller displaying transmit data dot 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 and connected to the PC, we run the HC update software. We select the COM port of the serial to USB cable. We select the software that we've already downloaded and we press the begin programming button. From this point it may take several minutes to update the firmware. After it finishes updating the firmware, it will begin verifying automatically. The verification process goes much quicker. And after that, we're done. We exit. Once it's done updating the hand controller and verifying the firmware, we exit the AC update program. Then we can turn the telescope off and turn it back on and we now have the latest version.